Hey, how are you guys? Today we have the new Zolo Q3000. It's Zolo's 5.7 inch big premium fablet. So we'll start this review by telling you what's in the box. You see a very typical Zolo box. They all um, are like kind of white and then you have this thread to pull this out and that's um, yeah, somewhere would be the price. You see 21999 is the MRP but you'd get it for about 16 and a half thousand or around uh, the 7,000, 16 to 7,000 mark on online or with your local vendor. Now you have some quick specs out here 5.7 inch full HD screen and then you have a MediaTek 1.5 gig quad core processor, the power via GPU, you have 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB internal memory, micro SD supported, 13 MP plus 5 MP cameras, you have USB OTG feature on the go and then you have some Zolo Secure and Power and Android 4.2.1 and a monstrous 4000mAh battery. Let's go ahead and tell you what's in the box now. First we have the phone here. We'll come back to the phone in a bit. You have a free screen guard there and then when you go inside you get a flip cover but then it's a strange flip cover in the sense that it does not replace the back cover all right but then the only way to stick the phone to the flip cover is remove this you know this part is sticky so that this guy sticks on the back I find it a little uh, weird and not so convincing and then you have these compartments inside which first you'll find the earphones there yep I suppose they're not yeah they're not in ear types or noise cancelling types you have a silver plated uh, audio jack and then you have a call control button here but no volume control button apart from that you have your USB OTG converter there, micro USB 2.0 to your uh, USB 2.0 female then you have your micro USB data transfer cable yeah. you have the manuals that's your safety and warranty information and then you have a quick start guide for those who are not very comfortable with this phone and then last you have the round pin wall adapter so that's about it that's about what's in the box so that's uh, the Zolo Q3000 so, um, it's all plastic of course in fact it's I uh, don't like the back cover sticking to the main body it's kind of rickety and the back cover is not not that does not exactly fit 100% into the body or maybe we've been using it too much to make it a little loose but you can see it makes those sound that's not very convincing yeah so 5.7 inch full HD IPS display on top you have the earpiece and then you have the 5 MP a front camera and it records at full HD below you have uh, the uh, hot case the menu home and back case on the left side you have the volume rocker nothing below on the right side you have the hole to open the back flap then your power button and on top you have the micro usb board and the 3.5 mm jack you have this a very nice um you know kind of chrome like black metal chrome colored line you know that divides the front and the back housing and looks quite premium this chrome also extends to the camera part here that's your speaker grill you have a noise cancelling mic here you have the 13 mp autofocus camera which of course also records at full hd accompanied with an led flash and your zolo branding there this is matte has a rubbery coating on the back cover and attracts a lot of fingerprints it will also attract scratches they see yeah 
inside you have the monstrous 4000 mAh battery it's almost as big as some of the mid-range phone and then you have sim 1 going in here sim 2 going in here and your micro sd card slot out here to remove any of this you would need to remove the battery yeah. uh, well for a 5.7 inch uh, it's a big body and when you compare it with the Note 3 that we have out here both have the same screen size 5.7 inch 5.7 inch but you can see the Note 3 really looks like a baby in front of this this guy has a big big body mainly thanks to uh, the length and extra real estate here hmm. Uh, it's it's very very big for the hand, but then it's of course a 5.7 inch screen. It will make its presence fill inside your pocket. It's not very heavy because of course it's all uh, plastic and quite um, you know thin plastic. It's it's not very rugged or it's not very concentrated polycarbonate. So it weighs just about okay. But then a big screen has its many advantages and uh, you would not mind not being able to hold it so properly when you see those advantages as we go along in the review video. The Zolo Q3000 runs Android 4.2.1 and a very typical almost stock unlock screen there. You see that and then you can add your widgets here, various widgets like calendar, digital clock, on messaging and such and you can also go to the unlock screen and you can go to your camera straight from here yeah so unlock it and you'll get to the home screen five home screen no option to add or remove any you can long press to add the wallpapers only to add the widgets you'll have to go to the widget menu here and long press any widget and drag them to the home page to add them yeah then here your app doc is customizable you can also create your folder to keep them there you have your notification bar you see nicely arranged you can do away with all those just by one tap and then your quick function toggle bar there yeah you can also go to your main settings from right there then you have your main app doc or app menu only two pages not many bloatware yeah so you see manage apps or wallpapers we'll go to system settings first because it's a dual sim phone you get to manage both your sims and then your wi-fi connections you see mobile consumer stuff usual stuff you have storage now this guy has 16 gb of internal storage which is actually quite enough for a lot of big games to uh, and uh, some of your music and videos but then on top of that it also supports micro sd card of up to 32 gb so you have a lot of play a lot of space to play around with no need to worry on that front and then you can add these many accounts then about phone you can see 4.2.1 q 3000 yeah it's it's quite smooth actually I have lots of widgets on the home page as you can see I purposely put them just to check how they move and they are very very smooth you can try going here see even the animations and coming out and in are almost perfect and real time I'm gonna check some of the apps you have your backup and restore but then it cannot backup online it's the bad thing we have the default browser a slight lag there you saw but that's mainly because it's trying to you know initiate that instruction and not because the phone is slow so we have nothing wired open here you can see it renders the website pretty perfectly yeah you can also pinch zoom effortlessly it's very very smooth yeah and then you can add your tabs here we also tested the HTML5 but it scores only about average 4.404 out of 555 you can create new tabs from here and um, you can go to all these options and settings you can see the usual settings nothing much to show about there you can request a desktop site 
and that's about the browser it's very very fast because it's almost a stock browser you have the 13 MP camera here again pretty much the usual interface you have your still button here yeah. you see and then you can start recording from here you can also click still while recording videos you yeah. tap it again to stop a recording you have some modes here that's the auto mode that's the HDR mode and then you have a portrait modes and panorama and multi-angle and whatnot and smile detects and those things you have your flash options here and switching to your front and back cameras yeah there those are the options you can GPS geotag and then your white balance settings anti flicker and then your image you also have a zero shutter lag continuous shot 40 picture size 13 MP it would be in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio you can go down to 8 MP uh, to have a wide screen that is 16 by 9 aspect ratio you have ISO going all the way up till 1600 um, but we'll talk about the quality a little later and then you have your video quality fine it of course uh, records at full HD at 30 FPS and now let's see how fast it clicks even without lag it's taking some time it's not exactly without lag yeah let's see the continuous shooting saving 40 pictures and it was going almost about 6 frame per second which is quite good yeah so I'll let it save 40 pictures and I'm gonna show you some other apps now you have the clock and uh, some popular third-party apps Facebook um, you have the gallery very familiar the images arranged in stock you can go to one image and you can go to this edit menu and you can have effects or frame or crop or you can also change the exposure and stuff yeah you can share a single image by all these means yeah, you can also go back sorry you can also go back and select multiple images and then share or edit them yeah then your music let's check out how it plays songs Well, it's okay, okay loud. It's, it's not extremely loud because it's trying to check the bass from going out of control. So um, at the end, um, it's not loud also and it's not totally bass heavy also. The treble is also somewhat just off the beat but then treble is still fine and better than what bass is. All notes are also not also very clear uh, the sound quality via the earphones are also um, just above average they are definitely better than um, what it came out via the speakers but also not something totally worth falling in love into you have all these options and then you can have your sound effects and all you can um, switch on the FX booster but it does not do much good to the sound then you have the dialer it's a big dialer that's one advantage of having a big screen yeah you have your settings I've shown you you have your uh, video player and then 
Zolo Care. You have Zolo Power to manage the battery and other stuff. So you can see you can see what's using your battery out here. You see one of the four cores is running right now, and more core will be in operation when I'm doing a more demanding task like playing a game or something. Then you have Zolo Secure, which is kind of a uh, security software like it'll prevent, um, it'll have an anti-theft and other things. Now let's talk about the photo and video quality and uh, we'll also talk about the display. So uh, the 13 MB autofocus camera clicks a very decent photo under enough light. You can see the details are there and uh, if you actually zoom in onto this, you see you can almost see all the branches. That's quite enough and very very good for a cell phone camera as you cannot expect much from a cell phone camera when we zoom in here I almost read it also not quite clearly like almost it is 91 and it's um, something so it's quite decent under enough light but then under low light um, it shows a lot of noise Do you see show a lot of noise and those letters you can see text toll the noise takes toll on the letters and they are not very very clear even on a full HD screen yeah so when you go down the ISO things become relatively better but still not you know professional grade and now I have a really really low ISO and then it's auto so basically under low light it shows quite an amount of noise now let's check out some uh, videos and you will see that the videos do not have any fuzziness and they are quite clear the blacks are deep and although i was shaking the um, phone a lot still it was able to um, capture the video quite nicely and no frames were skipped yeah the outside noise reduction also is wind noise reduction is also quite good yeah. so let's go ahead and check out a trailer to see how the display fares and we have a full HD video here Kung Fu Panda's trailer yeah. and see what a brilliant display it is perfect colors and you have an very nice wing angle there see amazing wing angle thanks to the IPS display Remember? the blacks are very very deep we absolutely love it yeah. perfect sync between video and audio no discoloration no fuzziness the details are very very good you see you can see the metallic shine here it's so perfect an amazing display and one of the main plus point of this device yeah so that's about it the call quality is also excellent so is the reception the phone is smooth for regular usage yeah. let's check out the gaming video now let's check out the gameplay on the Zolo Q3000 and we'll start with Fruit Ninja which uh, the phone should be able to play quite comfortably. Yeah. Very, very smooth. Smooth. Next is Beach Buggy Bleach. is fine with very insignificant lag water ripples are fine it reacts instantaneously to my swipe let's see very very smooth no lag no loss of frames or anything even if I give it complex in 
environment it plays just fine FIFA 14 next and it should be a pleasure to play on this huge screen yeah Graphic is not quite at par, but then it's good enough actually. a bit but then not totally unplayable but it lags yeah it lags significantly and the last game we are testing is Nova 3 and let's shoot the animation is fine smooth but not without lag though let's see how it Please, it's quite slow. It's quite slow, yeah. The movement are not very smooth, but still, it's playable. Uh, during Asphalt 8 and uh, this game Nova 3 but then still they are playable well verdict time so it's selling for about 18,000 odd on Flipkart which is a little expensive I mean I have seen in the market it um, uh, um, selling for about a 17k but then we'll take Flipkart just as an indicator and uh, if we compare it screen by screen then the Zolo Q3000 has two main competitors the Nokia 1320 which is priced less than this and then or I mean, less than this on Flipkart at least and then um, the Xiaomi G-Pad G4 um, 
if you do not like or if you do not want a Windows OS then a Xiaomi GPad 4 is a formidable competitor to this in fact the G4 has um, you know a Cortex A7 processor this has a MediaTek processor which is on paper slightly more powerful than the Cortex A7 quad core processor however we have not reviewed G4 so we won't be tell, um, we won't be able to tell you exactly how that performs in real life compared to this but uh, you might want to take a close look at that as well now, if you don't uh, consider the screen size then you have many options you have the Galaxy Grand 2 you have Xperia SP you have again the Nokia 1320 you also have the Note 1 but I'll, I'll, I'll ignore it and you have a lot of options out there but then if you do not care about the screen and if this guy is selling for 18,000 uh, we would still say you could go for the uh, carbon titanium x which is priced at about 15 to 16k and which is a brilliant brilliant phone but then if you want a bigger screen it has many advantages mainly from the multimedia point of view your video uh, a viewing experience and uh, you know image viewing experience on a full hd screen is brilliant and uh, even even browsing and browsing typing everything long time typing um, on a big screen becomes really really breeze so big screen has its advantages i also carry i mean this is it's my personal phone so i also carry big screen i like the big screen so if you are a big screen fan then you might want to choose between the Zolo Q3000 and the Zioni GPad G4 and then you might want to take your call if you like this video please hit the like button ask any related questions and we'll try our best to answer those and if you really want to keep getting this regular content then please subscribe to our channel below thank you